Hello developers. This video is part of our playlist where we're building a fully custom YouTube player using the iframe JavaScript API. Let's continue building. In this part, we'll focus on a specific JavaScript feature and connect it to our custom UI using the YouTube API. Let's get started. Handle speed change. This function runs when the user changes the playback speed using the drop-down menu. We connected it earlier in the onPlayReady function using a change event listener. Let's walk through what it does. First, we take the value selected from the dropdown. This value is a string, like 1, 1 1.5, or 2, representing the desired playback speed. We convert it into a floating point number because the YouTube API expects a numeric value for speed, not a string. Then, we use a predefined YouTube API function called setPlaybackRate. This function updates the playback speed of the video instantly. So if the user selects 1.5, the video now plays 50% faster. If they choose 2, it doubles the speed. We call this method on the player object because that's where all the video control functions live. So in summary, this function gives users real-time control over how fast the video plays using the YouTube iframe API's built-in method for adjusting speed. Toggle full screen. This function handles full screen mode for our custom video player. It runs when the user clicks the full screen button. We set up that click listener earlier inside the on player ready function. Now let's go through it step by step. First, we select the entire player card container. This is the outer wrapper that includes the video and all the controls. We want this container to enter full screen mode, not just the video itself. We also select the full screen button so we can update its icon based on the current state. Next, we check whether the document is currently in full screen mode. This is done using a built-in browser property that returns true if something is already full screen. If nothing is in full screen, that means we need to enter it. We call a browser method called request full screen on the player card element. This makes the entire player container expand to fill the screen. Once that's done, we update the full screen button icon to show the compress symbol, which usually means exit full screen. If the document is already in full screen, we do the opposite, or we call another browser method, exit full screen, which brings everything back to its normal size. After exiting, we update the icon on the button to show the expand symbol, meaning enter full screen again. So in short, this function doesn't use the YouTube API. Instead, it uses the browser's native full screen methods to give the user a clean, immersive video experience with just one click. Update progress. This function runs continuously every second, thanks to the interval we set earlier in the on player ready function. Its job is to keep the custom progress bar and the current time display in sync with the actual video playback. Let's break it down step by step. First, we get the current time of the video. We use a predefined YouTube API function called getCurrentTime. This gives us the number of seconds that have already played. It's an essential function for tracking live playback. We store this value in a variable called current. Next, we display this time in the UI. We take the current value, pass it through our formatting function, which converts it into minutes and seconds, and update the time display in the interface. This lets the viewer see exactly how much of the video has played. Then, we update the seek bar. We calculate how far the video has progressed as a percentage of the total duration. If the video is halfway through, the seek bar value becomes 50. This keeps the seek bar visually in sync with the actual video progress. Finally, we update the fill of the seek bar so that the slider visually shows how much has been played, just like a native video player would. So in summary, this function uses the YouTube API to check the current time, updates the text on screen, and keeps the progress slider moving in real time. It's the heart of the playback sync, and it runs every second to make sure your UI always reflects what the video is doing. Update slider fill. This function is responsible for creating that smooth filled look inside the volume and progress sliders making them feel modern, responsive, and visually in sync with user interaction or video state. We call this function whenever the volume or seek bar is updated. You've seen it used right after setting volume, seeking, or even during playback. Now let's look at how it works. First, we calculate the percentage value of the slider's current position. 
To do this, we subtract the minimum value from the current value, then divide it by the total range, which is the max value minus the min value. The result is a percentage that tells us how far the slider has been dragged. Next, we use that percentage to update the slider's background. We apply a linear gradient to the slider, filling it from left to right. The filled portion is shown in white, and everything after the current position becomes transparent or dimmed. This creates the visual effect of progress, whether it's in the volume slider or the seek bar. That wraps up this part of the JavaScript logic. We've connected more of our UI to the player and you've seen how the YouTube API gives us full control over playback and behavior. In the next video, we'll continue building on this until our player becomes fully interactive and complete. Keep going through the playlist and I'll see you in the next part.